was watching a rerun of the movie The Day Earth Stood Still, expecting only to relax my eyes by looking at Keanu Reeves when this dialogue hit me in the face. It's only on the brink that people find the will to change. Only at the precipice do we evolve. Made me stop and think. Given that change is the only constant in life, why do we resist it so much? We may be miserable in our discomfort, yet not so uncomfortable that we are willing to sit up and do something. Whether it's a new exercise regime, getting out of a hair-tearing job, a relationship that sucks, or just stop choking the sea with plastic, it's only when everything is collapsing around us that we find the will to change. Why is it so hard to change? That is the focus of this episode. Hi, I'm Sheila and you're watching Lumia 24. Light on! In the field of neuroscience, there is a term, switch cost. This is the price we pay for shifting between old beliefs, thoughts, behaviors and the new ones. New beliefs, new thoughts, new perceptions, new behaviors which are needed to make the changes that will help us achieve our goals. Now first of all, change is a process, it's not an event. The first part of this process happens when revelation happens or to put it more graphically, when shit hits the fan, when you realize that there is a problem and now you have to make some changes in your BPBs, behaviors, beliefs, perceptions. The next stage is when we start attempting to erase this old behavior neural pathway that is already established in our brain. Over time, your brain has very efficiently made your thoughts, behaviors and emotions automatic. Now you are asking it to undo all the hard work. You see what's happening here? Your brain now has to work extra hard to create new pathways, letting go of old patterns that it has already created. And at first, our brain really doesn't know if this new something is a casual thought or an idea, a phase that you're trying on just for size, or if this new morality is something you want to make permanent. The brain is an efficient energy conserver and its main job is to keep you protected at all times. It takes anywhere from a second to 200 days to develop a new brain habit. And as you work to implement positive changes, you will find that your brain is constantly wanting to revert back, revert back to the old way of doing things. Of course, it's just trying to conserve precious energy. It is conserving precious energy by maintaining old neural circuit rather than building something new. Which is why your brain will hunt around for very valid sounding excuses and rationalizations. I'm too tired, too busy, I will do this later. This is the end of the month. I will wait for the first Saturday or for the last leaf to fall off my favorite tree, whatever. Because that's the way of conserving energy and getting you back into your comfort zone. If you understand the way your brain works, you will realize that through the process of making changes to reach your own goals, you have to go through the switch cost or the discomfort for change for a small period of time. It won't last forever. You just have to keep moving forward long enough for the old patterns to let go of you and for the new patterns, beliefs, habits and the emotional and physical behaviors to take hold. So, when the urge to quit or procrastinate comes up, know that this is just one of the mechanisms that your brain is using. It is doing what it's supposed to do, keeping you alive with minimal expenditure of effort. This discomfort while making serious changes can be thought of as growth pains because our brains are literally growing and building new synaptic connections and circuits. All of the goals you're striving after are outside of your current comfort zone. Over time, you will grow and connect new neural patterns and then reinforce them. To help you through whatever change you want to create, whether it's as small as drinking more water to waking up earlier or huge life changes like moving into another town, moving out of a relationship or your big hairy work goals. Here's a tool from my toolbox. Let's call this the crystal process. The first tool to creating permanent change is to anticipate the process of change. So step one, know that it will take minimum 30 days 
before whatever you're attempting becomes automatic. So for the first 10 days, it's easiest. I know most people think that the first few days are difficult, but bear with me here. The first few days are the honeymoon period. It's difficult, but your enthusiasm for something new and the novelty will prop you up. The next 10 days are uphill. Enthusiasm has gone to have a lion and it's almost like scaling up the Everest. This is where most people give up and fall back into old patterns. Not you. You will prep your mind. I love using a countdown. I tell myself only nine more days, only eight more days, only seven more days before I go to bed. So that I have something to look forward to at the end of 10 days. Most of the days, I also sing Scarlett O'Hara song from Gone with the Wind. Just a few more days to tote this weary load. Just a few more days to motivate myself. The last 10 days, easy peasy. By this time, it's become easier. So you will no longer have the struggle, but you need to keep doing it for 10 more days, after which it feels natural. Knowledge is power. Once you know these steps, it will be much easier. Do it for another 30 more days and it becomes automatic. In this environment for success, you'll start to use your brain in new ways and your new thoughts, your new feelings and your new behaviors. These will become automatic and consistent with the goals that you want to achieve. Time to tackle the next change then, right? Don't keep this tip to yourself. Share it with your family. Share it with your friends and co-workers. Everyone is struggling with change. Spread the light, folks. And yes, if you need more help or personal coaching, reach out. I've put a link in the box below. Together, we can create a personal strategy for you.